Welcome back, everybody, to Final Fantasy V. So last time we began the fourth lithograph dungeon, uh, and now we're going to finish it. So we have one more lithograph to go, and then we have all of the final weapons, and that is the last side quest that we need to accomplish before the end zone. And in the meantime, we're going to have a lot of dungeon walking to do. So, um, first of all, I apologize for this happening so late in the day, um, cause I'm literally recording it right after I had to go to class and, and a bunch of other things. So <coughs> again, I apologize. It's been a busy week because I've been, and that's going to go into some of the other business, but, uh, I've had a lot of major assignments due in my classes and I've said be this before, but I'm making a final push to, uh, be done with college. So Right now, no offense to you guys, but school is going to take the priority um, just because I want to be done with that part of my life. And so that's what's kind of happened. That's also kind of delayed everything else that's going on. Uh, in particular, the, the I was supposed to have another review up uh, earlier, or la by last weekend, but earlier this week, and I just haven't been able to finish the editing for it. So now I'm gonna make a quick promise to you guys. I am hoping to have that review up by this weekend, and uh, I hope to have the next review up in the middle of next week, but I am not sure about that. I don't have to record as much footage for it, but at the same time, I also want to make sure that I, I give you guys a quality product and <coughs> all that fun stuff. So, yeah, school has kind of delayed everything this week. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit more done uh, as far as projects were concerned as well as game playing but well yeah that kind of that kind of took away from things so I can't guarantee that this is not going to happen again because the semester lasts until uh, the end of April so there's a good chance it will but I will make sure that it doesn't happen often. So, again, I apologize. And, and also, the people who noticed that I didn't live stream this week, there was a reason why. I actually had a test due that night. So, I wanted to make sure to get it in. <coughs> and I basically spent, like, I think it was put up on Saturday night. Um, and I spent, like, all of Sunday just kind of cramming and making sure that I knew what was on the test and, and took a little bit of Monday, too. So, that's why I didn't do the uh, live stream. Not because I hate you guys. But like I said on Twitter, um, it will be back next week, and we will do Undertale. And now we have the fourth lithograph. <laughs> and what's going to happen here now that I have it? Drop that lithograph. Well, hi there. <laughs> After Lord X death gains the power of the void, he'll make a world of monsters. <laughs> he'll not interfere. <laughs> why is he, why is there shaking? Oh, the king of the sea has something to say about that. And that is die. <laughs> Leviathan beat the monster. Well, so much for our boss encounter. I am Leviathan. I will follow whoever can defeat me. It's kind of hard to not make him sound serpent-like, and he doesn't do any S's. So yeah, this is kind of the big encounter of the fourth lithograph dungeon, is that you can unlock Leviathan. Now, technically, um, you can actually unlock Leviathan before Bahamut. Bahamut is still considered the last or most powerful summon in this game. But it just so happened in this case, I got Leviathan last. In fact, in some cases, I was tempted to get him earlier, but, well, I want to make sure to get the other lithographs first. Because this one was, like, super easy, and, yeah, he's dead. Can you tell if my characters are... Can you tell my characters are ready for endgame by now? But I would actually tell you, no, they're not, because we, we still have another grind session after this lithograph. So yeah, let me, uh, after I get the summon monster Leviathan, 
which to this day is still the only water-based one you get. So Shiva doesn't count, she's ice. All right, so now we are done with the fourth lithograph dungeon, which means I did do some grinding in the background, and it's time, people. It is time for some end zone action. That sounded really horrible. But before that, we are going to go th get the last weapons. So really quick, I just want to clarify the schedule here. So next Monday, well, I guess this upcoming Saturday, there will be a Geek News episode. So you will not miss on that. And we do have some compelling stories to talk about. Um, in fact, I'm going to, to the Geek, Geek News listeners that do follow this Let's Play, I'm going to let you know in advance. On Facebook, we are covering a very controversial story, at least controversial for us, because the panel was already having some interesting discussion about it. So I decided to open it up to you guys uh, to get you guys' feedback. And that is... So Ronda Rousey, the UFC fighter, has made it clear, like she did with uh, Captain Marvel, that she wants to be able to play Samus Aran from Metroid. So... I can already tell you the panel has some interesting opinions on it, um, kind of skewed. <clears throat> uh, and at this point, the funny part is this isn't set in stone. This is basically her saying, I want to, kind of like Nicolas Cage saying he wanted to play Superman. Um, but this obviously had some skewing opinions, so you guys can look forward to that on Saturday. And please go to the Facebook page and leave your opinion on this story, on whether or not it should happen. Uh, the other thing that I'm also going to point out is that we, uh, as of last week, we followed the where's the fair use argument. There have been some interesting developments on that. And yes, it will be discussed on this weekend's podcast. So you guys can leave your comments on that. I will have the, uh, the video up on Facebook shortly. So you guys can leave your opinion on where's the fair use. So you guys can look forward to that. But this Saturday, there will be a podcast. Next Saturday, however, there will probably, yeah, there will not be a podcast. Why? Because we're actually getting together to review a movie. Uh, a very special movie that is coming to select theaters, and it just so happened to be that one of those select theaters was local to us. So we're going to take that on, kind of like we did with uh, Attack on Titan. But instead of doing a, a regular podcast, we're going to get together and do a roundtable on uh, the movie itself, but also on a few stories. And we, av we may even uh, do a little bit of a lightning round for because I believe one person is not going to be able to make the podcast this weekend. Uh, so we now have the fire boot or fire boote. I don't know how that's actually said. It's a whip. It's a fire whip. There we go. So that's one. Where's the next one? Why it's up there. And we're going to get the Apollon harp. I'm guessing that's supposed to be Apollo's harp but they didn't say it right. Oh well, Apollon Harp. And then the last one, which we can see right now, is a bell of some kind. It is the Earth Bell. And now that we have that, we have all of the sacred weapons of Enuo. And like I said earlier on in this Let's Play, you don't have to have them all. To, to go forward. As you're going to see, because like I don't use every single weapon in my run through of the end zone. But, for completionist's sake, we got them. That and I do like the, the lithograph dungeons for, for a first time. So, Alright, so now that that has happened, uh, this is actually around the time when I did set things up for a, br uh, for a grinding break. And then we are going to go ahead and go in to the end zone. So yeah, um, next weekend, podcast. Next Monday, there will be an Undertale live stream, so you guys can look forward to that because I had to I had to skip this week. Uh, and then at that point, we're just going to go back to regular schedule. I'm hoping to be done with Undertale this Monday. Not sure if that's going to happen, but we're going to try. Again, I've seen the completion go to six hours, and so we've already technically put in, I want to say, four. Because, well, I've put in two live streams on this. If not, then the following week will definitely be it. But, 
that is happening, and then we will resume regular schedule for that the following uh, the following Monday. Uh, Tuesday, nothing really is going to change there. Uh, you guys have noticed, or if you guys haven't noticed, we just barely started up a new Let's Play, me and Andrea, and that is for the 2015 uh, King's Quest title for Episode 1, A Night to Remember. So you guys can look forward to that. Uh, and obviously Thursday is the Final Fantasy day, so that's that's not changing. I am also looking to, in the summer, have some interesting things to add for, for just the summer, but we'll see. I don't, I don't want to get you guys' hopes up until I have it set in stone. And I already know I'm going to get a comment. What, are, what other stories are you going to talk about? Don't know yet. Um, I know that Where's the Fair Use and uh, Ronda Rousey are going to make it. That's about it. Technically, I don't usually get into the stories until, well, af I'm actually going to do it after uh, I record this video and uh, compose the agenda for next or for this upcoming Saturday's podcast, uh, probably tomorrow. So that way the panel can get ready for the stories that are going to be covered. Uh, and then also some people have been asking, so what is the next review that I'm going to have up? Um, people saw the uh, review that I did for Firewatch. Well, there was another indie game that came out that exact same week and I have no problem spoiling it. I am doing a review for Coldwood Studios Unravel. And then I even have two other reviews after that. One is fairly obvious. If I haven't made it fairly clear that I'm a Street Fighter fan, uh, I am doing a review for Street Fighter V. It's just taking a little bit of time since school is taking up all that time. Uh, and then the other one is, and I'm, I'm still debating whether or not it's going to happen, but uh, Scott Coffin did re-release uh, FNAF World. So I may do a review for that. It just depends on if I have time, because I really don't want to push it out. Especially since from here on in, like, I'm thankful I'm not going to have as busy a weeks as February has been for me. Because if I remember correctly, yeah, I've got like, I've got one in March right now, because March is a slow month. And then April, it picks back up because I have a, uh, basically a review or a game to review coming out within weeks of each other. So that'll be interesting. And then May is going to be another big month. And so is June. And I don't know anything after that because release dates haven't... Video game release dates are hard because sometimes we don't even get them until last freaking minute. Kind of like we did with FNAF World. But I won't spoil those games because I, I want you guys to get excited. This is one of those times when I actually get a little frustrated because you actually can only enter the end zone in one of these holes. And it takes a while to remember that. But now that I've gone to the right one, it's time. It's time for end game, people. What in the... I feel like Ryu Hayabusa in the original Ninja Gaidens. The end zone. Arr, we're being sucked in. We're going in. It's time, people. End game is here. And there's no music. Oh, no. And there you go. It's time for the end zone. And already, the random encounters have kicked in. <coughs> so this is usually the part in the uh, Let's Play where I do talk about the games that I've been playing recently. And the games that I've been playing recently are, well, Unravel and Street Fighter V, as, along with Firewatch. And you guys know my review of Firewatch. I'm not going to spoil Unravel. Um, Street Fighter V, yeah, I'm not going to spoil that either. But uh, needless to say, I put in a lot of time towards Unravel, and I've put in probably about as much time with Street Fighter V, and I have a few things to say about it. I'm actually debating whether or not Street Fighter V is going to get a, uh... Its review is, I don't think, going to be horrible. But at the same time, I almost want to do a rant video on it. I don't know. I'll make up my mind on that. But it kind of deserves a rant. I mean, the internet's already ranting about it. And I, I want to do the same. Because there's there are features here that have absolutely no make absolutely no sense that they're not in the game. 
So we might act, or I might actually do a uh, a rant on Street Fighter Five, but we'll get there when we get there. I also hope to to uh, get Street Street Fighter Five on the live streams. I finally found a few fixes I want to try out for console games for live streaming. So we're gonna try that out and see if it works. I don't know how successful it will be. We're gonna try it. Aside from that, though, um, gee, have I been able to play anything else? <laughs> Not really. Um, I've been able to play a little bit of WoW. I got back into WoW after taking a, what was it, a four to six month break? <coughs> yeah. And I'm still, like, I'm not regular on WoW. I'm basically going on and doing Garrison stuff, but basically trying to get myself hyped up for Legion. We monsters have been sealed in this end zone for 1,000 years. Once X-Death obtains the void, our new world will emerge, one of darkness. Oh my. Your interfering is over. Today, by the power of darkness, you die. In the end zone. <laughs> All right, so in case that didn't give you the big hint that we're going to be dealing with some crap in this uh, particular dungeon. Oh, there you go. We're going to have some boss fights. But that's okay, because they think they're all that in the bag of chips, and they're kind of not at this point. Because Drac is an obsessive-compulsive leveler. He can get that crap done. So yeah, I've been playing a little bit of, uh, of WoW, just uh, getting back into the garrison swing of things, and right now I'm, I'm just... I, I'm not planning on doing anything major. I'm basically preparing for Legion, is what I'm doing. Um, I would really like to get that Legion Alpha key, but I haven't gotten it yet. And so I'm basically prepping for Legion. I'm getting adequate money and uh, getting also, and also not doing a whole lot in the game, just kind of prepping for the leveling grind that is going to happen in Legion. And also being excited for everything that's coming out or with, with the Legion Alpha. I actually have gotten some questions. So, like, do, do I know the class that I'm going to go with in Legion? I do. Um, so, for Warlords, I actually... Let's see. I've been, So, a little bit of history. I've been playing since about two weeks before BC came out. And uh, for most of that time, I've been playing either tank or healer classes in, in raiding and, and grouping. My mains have always been tanks or healers. And so in Warlords, I decided I wanted to change that up because I hadn't had a dedicated DPS character um, or a, a dedicated DPS as my main. And so I decided since um, Balance was looking really good at the time for Balance Druids and I'd been tanking on my Druid for a long time, I wanted to go Balance because I wanted to be a caster. And so, yeah, this entire expansion, I did Balance. And as soon as Legion gets announced, I'm like, what's the balance artifact? Please tell me it's the it's the Scythe of a Loon. And yes, it is. So, yep, my main is going to be the uh, Balanced Druid for the Scythe of a Loon, and its off-spec is going to be uh, Guardian for the Claws of Ursoc, because I finally get customizable bear forms, which I've been screaming for ever since Firelands put in the Firecat. But yeah, that's that's my plan thus far. Do I know my first alt? No, not yet. And really, the reason I don't is because I want to mess around with Demon Hunter. Um, I'm really excited to see what Vengeance Demon Hunter brings. And therefore, I'm not deciding an alt yet until I can get my hands on the Demon Hunter. After that, um, I have a couple of classes in the works, but usually I pick hybrids. I, I like the idea of being able to help out the group that I'm in, in whatever way I can. And so I usually pick the hybrid classes that can either tank or heal. If they can do DPS, then great. But, like I said, I, for the longest time, I have been tanking and healing. This is the first expansion where I was solidly a DPS. And I I could already feel like the, the hardcore, the herd cur DPSers going, well, what were your numbers like? Uh, 
I'm not going to claim to be the best DPS in my raid. There were, there were people that were better. Granted, I mean, I, I picked a class that is kind of up there, but not really. Kind of in the middle. But I think for, for a Boomkin, I did fairly well. Not to toot my own horn. But I was up against, uh, up against things like hunters and mages. And so obviously they, they were higher on the DPS charts than I was. But hey, I gave them a run for their money. Let's see. So I, I really don't want to like completely cloud this in, in WoW talk. Yeah, this is WoW talk with drag. Which is funny because I actually do get suggestions to do a... Not a live stream, but like a let's play of a bunch of MMOs. World of Warcraft comes up a few times, and then I get the Old Republic and Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know why you guys want that, <laughs> but maybe we'll try and make that work. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of warming up to the idea, but I would really want it. I want I would want something to make my Let's Play unique from all the others. So that's that would be kind of the difficult part. Let's see, any other games that I've been able to? Not really. Um, <clears throat> I've been busy uh, trying to get RPGs done for Draken Shadow, as well as getting assignments done for school and uh, getting reviews done. So that's that's taken up a good portion of my time. And yes, I know that sounds boring and I'm sorry, but it's the way it goes. Yeah, we get to start off the end zone with Drac do, uh, doing nothing but business. That's kind of what happened. Oh, and yeah, I, for, I, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, so Unravel hopefully by next week, or hopefully by this weekend, hopefully by next week I'll have a Street Fighter V video up. I don't know if it will be the review. It might be the rant. We'll see what we can do. Oh, and this might look familiar for people. So people remember me wandering down here and taking an entire episode in this Mirage Village, and that's actually where the door leads, is into the end zone. It's not like I can exit out of the end zone from here. That's okay. Because I think this actually opens up the next one. Yeah, if you'll notice, all the uh, villagers are frozen, so that's basically the end zone's rep representation of Mirage Village. But as soon as I walk out, then it puts me in the next area, the end zone, which looks a lot like more forest. Not gonna lie, it does. And of course, another encounter. Why not? Let's see, I'm actually looking up like a like a story or two just to give my opinion on it, because I don't want to run out of dialogue for you people. It's the end zone. There's not really a whole lot of dialogue in it. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, we have we have Where's the fair use? We have Ronda Rousey this week. Um, here's one that people might want to get my opinion on. So, because I got a couple of uh, listener suggestions for it. Pacific Rim 2 gets the Daredevil showrunner, Stephen Denight, as its director. Okay. I was hoping Guillermo would come back, but I guess this project is taking too long for that to happen. Which makes me just sad. I really want Pacific Rim 2. I know a lot of people didn't like it, but I did. Mainly because, as a giant robot fan, it gave me hope. It gave me hope that I would be able to see more giant robot stuff here. And I know that's a really, really far hope to, to jump. But, well, a guy can a guy can dream, right? The way it goes. Yeah, not really a whole lot of stories. Is, well, we'll find some stories. No, don't get me wrong there. It's just some of those stories I don't want to go into detail about. Because of the fact, we're going to be talking about them on the podcast. Well, not really. <clears throat> That's okay, though. We're actually coming up really close to our, our time for this week. Let's go ahead and uh, get out of this fight. So, yeah, I think this is going to go ahead and... Uh, actually, wait, no. Might be going... Yeah, let's go a little bit further. Let's go a little bit further. Uh, and there we are.
I at least can get off this floor. I hate this part of the stinking end zone. Surrounded by woods, may you rest in peace forever. Well, that's a perfect time to cut off now, isn't it? So next week, we're going to take on this chat.